In Mexico, the readiness process for the international mechanism to reduce emissions from deforestation and forest degradation, which includes subjects like the role of conservation, sustainable management of forests, and enhancement of forest carbon stocks, also known as Red Plus, requires the development of a national forest monitoring system. The National Forest Monitoring System gives certainty to the fulfillment of commitments taken by the forestry sector of Mexico to decrease the emissions of greenhouse gases, either through the special program of climate change or those established in the future within the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Since the system will monitor and verify the impact of Red Plus activities, including those with international support, such as the Forest and Climate Change Project of the National Forestry Commission. Therefore, CONIFOR, through the Reinforcing Red Plus and South-South Cooperation Project, funded by the Norway government and with the support of FAO and UNDP, works in developing this system. The National Forest Monitoring System has three components, emission factors, activity data, and the Greenhouse Gases Emissions Inventory. First, emission factors. The emission factors are the calculation of forest carbon stocks estimations, as well as possible variations. The estimation of carbon storage in Mexican forests are made from the analysis of information collected by the National Forest and Soil Inventory, improvement of protocols for field variables collection, and the generations of mathematics equations by which it's possible to define how much carbon is stored in the tree, based on its diameter and height. All this to reduce uncertainty associated with the estimations. On the other hand, CONIFOR, supported by research centers, civil organizations, and national and foreign institutions, conduct studies to know how natural process, like hurricanes and wildfires, and human activities, such as deforestation and sustainable forest management, affects the accumulation or liberation of carbon contained in forest ecosystems. These studies take place in intensive carbon monitoring sites. In the intensive carbon monitoring sites, information such as litter, deadwood, soil type, aerial part growth, as well as roots growth are collected. Some of the intensive carbon monitoring sites have instruments to measure the ecosystem respiration, which indicates how much carbon dioxide enters or leaves forest. Second, activity data are changes in land use and vegetation. Land use change and vegetation change are losses or gains in forest, watched from satellite imagery processed by the National Commission for the Use and Knowledge of Biodiversity, CONAVIO. Satellites visualize the type of light that vegetation reflects. Since every species of plants or trees generates a different reflection, it can be classified and grouped. Conabio specialists uses satellite imagery from past decades to know how territorial distribution of forest has changed in the country through time. Also, they use satellite images, taken since 2011, that cover the whole country to monitor annually land use changes variations with five times higher detail than with past year's imagery. To prove that data outcomes from satellite images processing are consistent, CONIFOR validates it with land uses and vegetation charts developed by the National Institute of Statistics and Geography, INEGI. Therefore, CONABIO and CONIFOR seek to obtain an accurate annual assessment of land use change in the country. Third, a National Greenhouse Gases Emissions Inventory to estimate and report greenhouse gases emissions generated by land use change in forestry to communicate to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change for which CONIFOR works hand in hand with the National Institute of Ecology and Climate Change, INIC. This inventory considers areas where land use had changed and the type of vegetation that existed in those places from the activity data. This information is complemented by carbon stocks data, meaning emission factors, and so it enables to know the amount of greenhouse gases that are emitted due to deforestation or forest degradation. Additionally, this information makes possible to know the reduced emissions or capture of greenhouse gases accomplished by actions in the forestry sector to decrease the effects of climate change through Red Plus activities. So, the National Forest Monitoring System that is being developed by CONIFOR through the Reinforcing Red Plus and South-South Cooperation Project, as part of the readiness process for the National Red Plus strategy, will be ready and operational by mid-2015, and it will give certainty, transparency, and reliability to Mexico's actions performed to help fight climate change effects.
Secretaría de Medio Ambiente y Recursos Naturales. Gobierno de la República.